Hey guys, today we will talk about Arduino Basic Zone. For that, firstly, we will talk about some of their products, and we have six of them today. Firstly, we have our servo motor that will close and open the door, and it will located in front of the control room one. Then we have our buzzer that will show their output according to the ultrasonic sensor, and then we have our button that and we can open the door if we want. And uh, after that, we have our building block of this project, Arduino based breadboard. And after that, we have our ultrasonic sensor that will do all the things and sense all the items. And after that, we have our resistors. That's a necessary thing. And now we will go through our project. Quick tour of our base. So here we are going to start with our control room number one. So this is our control room number one. So it has the most complicated Arduino circuit we made for this project. So this one is quite complicated. So this is the ultrasonic sensor which is going to run the whole process for this one. And this is the LED which is going to be blinking when the object will be reaching to the other, reaching near to the control room and it's going to be blinking faster if the object comes too near to the so this is a servo motor which is going to be working in a different way it's going to it's going to put a barrier uh, in the on the front so that the object might not reach to the safe zone uh, as soon as the object reaches uh, to a certain point like over here so it is said to be like this barrier is going to be for uh, uh, this barrier is going to fall and the object is going to be uh, uh, pushed uh, pushed away from uh, fr from the control room this is a buzzer. Uh, this buzzer will come into play when the object will be uh, reaching uh, into the safe zone, and it uh, and the beep is gonna be uh, increasing uh, by the by when the distance is gonna be decreasing be between the uh, control room and the object. And this one here is a button in the control room, and this is a pull up button, and this is. Uh, this is set up for, uh, for like uh, the authorized objects like uh, suppose if something is going to be uh, going out from the uh, control room and something is going in, in, in the control room so this button is going to come into play so when this button is going to be pressed none of this is going to be working uh, all the, the ultrasonic sensor is going to be jammed so it's, it's not going to be working so after this pull down button I am going to explain the wiring of this system so the the ultrasonic sensor which uh, is going to be working over here so it's uh, it is given a uh, 5 volt input and uh, uh, the wiring is uh, and this side is going to the uh, the ground and here these two wires are given the input from the s uh, 7 and 8 uh, pin respectively so this uh, the w so the one of this from this is echo and the other is uh, the trigger so the buzzer here uh, it's given an input from the so the buzzer is given an uh, input from the pin number 11 and uh, and yeah the LED we use over here is a multicolor LED so it needs uh, two inputs so uh, first uh, this wire is connected to the ground and the uh, other wire goes to the uh, three and the fourth pin respectively and the server is given an input from the uh, the pin number uh, 10 so this is how the whole proce uh, process is going to be working this is the whole wiring and the button is a uh, pull up button as i explained earlier so that's all uh, for the control room number one so now we are going to move to the control room number two and three respectively and here we go for the control room 2 and the control room 3 and the control room 2 and control room 3 are quite similar and and we have put the power supply for that and it will just go in with the this one and will generate the energy for that and we have used the ultrasonic sensor and the multicolor LED for this and the multicolor LED just doing two colors red or green and for the green color it's like if we the, the uh, object is more than uh, away from the sector area is going to blink with the green color and if the uh, 
like objectives coming in control near to the control rooms and it's going to blink a uh, little bit and if it control is coming inward the control room it's going to blink at faster rate and the ultrasonic sensor is quite is doing a quite job it's going to detect the object and if, it, if the object is near them it will give us a warning and will uh, give the warning to the people in the inside the military base and they are all getting alerted and for the wiring the one side is going to be 5 volt and second side is going to be ground and for the to middle two wires they are going to the uh, going to be of 8 and 7 and these are the like the middle two wires are like the sender and uh, receiver M means one is going to be send the signal and when it's going to reflected by the object is going to receive by the second second antenna portion and the lights are going to be blown up and that's it for the both controllers and let's start with a quick tutorial for our safe soon now as you can see when uh, no object is in the in the area in the safe zone area the LEDs are blinking uh, green and none of the LEDs is, are going red so when uh, here we are using a mobile as a device which is going to be entering the safe zone so when the device is going to start entering let's start so as you can see when the device is approaching the safe zone both of the uh, the front LEDs are g uh, giving a warning. Uh, both of the LEDs are turned red, so it's giving a warning to the object to return back uh, as uh, ahead as a safe zone. So control room M1 and control room 2 are sensing uh, for that. And as it goes a little bit further, you might be able to hear a beep, a small beep from from the control room number one, which is beeping because uh, the object is approaching nearer to the safe zone and now when the object goes further the control room number one uh, is gonna increase the beep and uh, the uh, and the servo motor is gonna close a barrier so that the object won't be able to reach our safe zone so here now uh, the, uh, now that's all for uh, to resist the object entering the safe zone uh, now as the button is ringing uh, sorry uh, the buzzer is ringing suppose that the uh, suppose something any authorized vehicle is going to be entering into the uh, into the premises or the, into the safe zone so any uh, any authorized for any authorized object we do have a button which is going to be pressed uh, for the authorized object to enter in the safe zone without any restriction so here now we are going to press the button so as you can see when the button is pressed uh, the whole uh, control room number one is a uh, pause and uh, it's not showing anything so uh, the object would be able to be uh, would be able to enter the uh, enter the safe zone and uh, go on and uh, it will be able to enter the safe zone uh, and go on further until where it wants now, to uh, now when the object the authorized object had entered the premises so, uh, so now we can just release the button and the object uh, and the control room number one is going to be back to what it was supposed to do now if any other object will again approach uh, over there like this it's again going to be the same way and again the the barrier is going to be uh, is barrier is going to be closed as soon as the any unauthorized object is going to be reaching the control room number